Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem B from Word Forces Round 651. Problem name GCD Compression. So Ashish has an array consisting of two n positive integers. Okay, he wants to compress A into an array of size n minus 1. So the initial size of the array is 2n and Ashish wants to compress that array of like name A into B of size n minus 1. So to do this, he first discard exactly two elements from A. So this is the first point, you have to take out two elements and then he perform the falling operation until there is no element left in A. So what he'll do, he remove any two elements from A and append their sum to B. Okay, so what he'll do, he can take out any two elements from A, which is the like this array of size 2n. He will take out two elements and then he will append them, join them and then the join number is sent to B. Okay, so now as you can see, because there are two n elements and he has taken out uh, two elements, so there are uh, two n minus, uh, like two n minus two elements are present. Now he will take out two elements and join them. So after that, as you can see, all the two numbers combine to one number. Every two numbers combine to one number. So as you can see, every number get half and the total number will become n, min n minus one. Okay, so that's how we are converting it to n minus one elements. Now, but the thing here is in the last after forming this array of size b there is a special property that the gct of all its elements should be greater than 1 okay so the new array which is formed the gct of all the elements should be greater than or equal to 1 okay so that's what we have to find out what we have to find out is how this process is taking place okay so you are given the array itself the array a because it is given 3 so they have 2 n elements which is six elements and then you have to first discard out two elements and then you have to take out the rest of the elements add them and form the new uh, like array b so what you can easily say here is if you form or if you want the new array to have an gcd greater than or equal to one it means that uh, you can easily do it by saying that all the elements can be even if all the elements in the new array are even then the gcd will be equal greater than or equal to one so how we can make if if we put every if we add two even numbers it will become even if we add two odd numbers it will become even so that's the main thing you have to couple two even number together and couple two odd numbers together so i'll take it down to the drawing board see this example and you have to output the indices okay which two indices you want to couple out okay so that's what happened this is the index one two three four so first you want to find out how many even number are there and how many odd number are there and put them in a like a vector or something so uh, in this as you can see this is odd this is odd this is odd this is even so the indices of this is 1 2 3 and fourth one is even so uh, that's what I've written the indices of 1 2 3 are odd and the fourth one is even now as you can see if you want to find out couples okay so now if we take two odd numbers and we first have to remove two numbers from these how, how we want to remove okay because there are odd numbers like number of elements in this vector is odd okay so if how many times like if i can choose this pair then this number will always remain so our main target is to remove this element first because if i remove this element then this vector will become size of even and we can easily make pair of it and thus we have to remove two elements so if the number of odd elements in the odd vector is odd then it is compulsory to remove one element from here but if I again remove one element from here only, then this become odd. So that's what our like, thought process will be. We can remove one element from here. Okay, this will only happen if the number of odd numbers in odd vector. Okay, but if there are like even numbers. So let's assume there, there is like a fifth element also. This is one, two, three. They all are odd and this is even. Now this is odd. Uh, like the odd numbers are even and like even is there. So if I remove only one element from here, okay, so this will become odd. Now, and also as you can see, I cannot remove two elements from even because there are no more even number present. So our main target is remove two elements from odd because removing two elements from odd will again make it even and this will remain odd because if we just take one element, then also like, uh, because actually this should be six also because there are two elements. Now also as you can see if I take two elements out of here or two elements out of here it doesn't matter. But if it's less then we actually have to remove uh, two elements from odd only. So that's the main target. Now uh, 
after the removal of two elements how many elements are left in even and how many elements are left in odd just make them in pair like i'll take down these two elements and these two elements so like there are many elements in even odd just take down two consecutive elements because make them a pair because if you take down any two odd numbers it will be even okay so as you can see in this example if i if i take away in this uh, one and two okay now the next element remain is 3 4 and 5 6 so if i make an pair of this 3 and 6 and then it will make turn out to be 9 and this will turn out to be 9 also but as you can see if i make two odd numbers which is like 5 and 3 which is like 8 and then if i make out two even number which is 6 and 4 which is uh, like 10 so both of them has gcd greater than equal to 1 so this is also fine so i hope you understand the logic i'll take it on to the code now so this is the code in which we will first take the input of n and then what we will do we will have, have made a vector a of like two values one stored the even and one stored for odd okay we will take the input of all the numbers x and we will check whether it is an odd or not even if it is odd this will check whether it is odd we will push back the element in this vector okay so we will push back the indices okay so it, because it is i plus i the indices are labeled from 1 it is one index one base index so i will push i plus 1 okay and if it's even i will push back in a0 i plus 1 then what we will check we have three condition first if the number of elements in odd this is the odd vector okay you can make two vectors odd and even also so i have made like this so if the number of elements in odd vector is equal to 1 which is mean that they are odd then we first pop out one element from the odd vector and one from even vector if the number of even vector the number of elements in the even is greater than or equal to 2 then just pop out two elements from even else pop out two elements from odd you can do either way then this can all, only be done because the element should in even vector should be greater than or equal to 2 then only we can pop out and then what we will do we will iterate over the even vector and then plus equal to 2 okay because we will we are taking two elements out uh, just print out the first element and the second element and then third element and the fourth element and so on and they do the same for the odd vector the first element second element because always they are present in pair because they are two an element i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you next one keep coding bye